So here I am. It's Monday. It's another cold March day, but think about it. It's March. I have been encouraged to be here today by Angie Stewart. Angie is a longtime subscriber and she has just started making videos. She's a vlogger. I'll put information about how to reach her and contact her uh, in the description box below. Beth has already done that, so those of you who watch Beth will know this already, but Angie did encourage me to vlog. I've been once again in a slump, although I have a couple of things to tell you. But first of all, let me flash at you my Moleskine with the Legos on. Those of you who've watched Angie Stewart's video will know what this is all about. My beloved Moleskine and Legos. Okay, um, we've been talking about the Play It Forward um, project that Philosophibes has encouraged us all to participate. And Angie in a moment of genius, decided to say that it was play it forward, which I think actually, Phoebe, is a little bit better. We don't need to um, do the pay it forward thing because that's been taken and its uh, connotation means something a little bit different than encouraging um, our, you, our YouTube community to come together. So play it forward might fit better just offer that as a suggestion though. Not that I would want to boss anybody around, seeing as there's already rules. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So I have two things to tell you today, besides besides Angie and the play, play it forward. A stupendous thing happened. A marvelous wonderful, exciting, fabulous, stupendous, incredible, stunning thing happened over the weekend. Do you want to see? I have two little photos to show you, or well, maybe three, to show you what was so stupendous and amazing and fabulous. Here it is. So what do you think of that? I managed to make, well, three socks. The extremely horribly ugly one that's got the lime green and the brown in, and then the blue with pink little frizzy stripes in it. I made three socks. It's an accomplishment that has been a goal since about May of last year. And I managed to get past the hump of the heel flap and the heel shape thing and picking up those stitches along, what do they call it, the gusset, and making the toe. I even mastered the Kitchener stitch. And I'm wearing one. Socks. The other thing that happened, you've heard me talk about Ian Hamilton, the author of the Ava Lee stories. Well, my sister and I, on Sunday, we drove to a little town called Paris, which is uh, actually 78 kilometers away from where we are in Ontario. And he was doing a book reading at the Paris Library. And my sister and I, we decided we wanted to go and meet him. And um, this book, The Wild Beasts of Wuhan, he autographed it for me. See? Oh, that's Barbara's book. Here's mine. It's The Red Pole of Macau. Barbara is my friend that I grew up with, and I'm going, she's just decided to retire, and I'm going to give her all five of the Ava Lee books as a retirement gift. So there's mine. And the talk 
the question period and him reading to us was about an hour and a half long, and it was fabulous. So here I am to talk to you about uh, Ava Lee once again, and encourage you, those of you who are readers, and like the, um, well, it's a little thriller, it's a little mystery, it's, um, they're, they're great stories, and I couldn't put them down. I read them all last week, finished them all, and uh, really enjoyed it. And I can't remember what I've already said about Ava Lee, so I'll just tell you again, because I'm reinforcing Ian Hamilton and his uh, five, currently five books, although he has, he's thinking he's going to do 12, um, and books six and seven are done, but we won't see them for a year. Anyway, Ava Lee is a forensic accountant. She is Chinese-Canadian, uh, works out of Hong Kong, basically, and um, Asia. Usually that's where her clients come from, and she, she is a partner with someone she calls Uncle, who used to be part of the triad, one of the leaders of the triad years ago, and he has reformed. And Ava is gorgeous, slight, practices a deadly form of, um, um, what do they call it? Like like uh, taekwondo, but it's the it's back my that they call it. Um, and uh, she's very adept and capable and down to earth. She is also a lesbian, which is an interesting thing because here's this older man, Ian Hamilton is 66, and he writes about things that he just doesn't know because he's not an accountant, has no interest in it. He's certainly not lesbian. He is married, has children, and used to be in the uh, seafood business. But the stories are very good, done by a Canadian guy, and um, uh, they absolutely held me in spell um, all last week. Uh, so I'll encourage you to um, read them in some way whether it's electronically or you borrow them from the library or whatever, encourage your libraries to carry the book. No, I'm not getting paid to advertise, um, but he's worth, he's worth. As a matter of fact, I asked him in the book because um, Ava Lee is a user of Moleskine, <clears throat> and I wanted to know what size of moleskin book uh, he has her use, and I asked him that question. Anyway, uh, here I am with my submission for Pay It Forward, a discussion about Molly Skine and Legos, sort of, and Ava Lee. I'm not even going to say I'll try and be here more often. <clears throat> Phoebe says it's once a month is good. I'll try and do more than that, though. That's it, that's all.